Hi, my name is Emmy from Emmy Law Help. I am one of your virtual guides to walk the maze of some of the most common immigration applications or petitions. Emmy Law Help is a virtual legal assistant which will guide how to fill some of your immigration petitions for certain visas. Immigration law is quite fascinating, but the paperwork and requirements can be confusing. This is why we have created Emmy Law Help. Emmy Law Help is an innovative concept of guiding applicants on certain visas by a step-by-step -step approach on how to fill your immigration applications. Emmy Law Help is no way a substitute to the work of a good lawyer. However, since Emmy Law Help has been designed by the Shapier Lee Law Group, the knowledge of the lawyers and the know-how of an experienced paralegal team have been placed in the guides. Therefore you can rest assured that you are getting the right guidance to navigate the immigration maze. Almighty Immigration Library, please open your door to Imi. Let us start. Hi Emmy. Hi Law Help. As Emmy has mentioned, we are going to guide you through the US immigration maze. Yes indeed. If you have already picked which visa you want to use to come to the United States, you can proceed to the right visa and follow the instructions provided for your specific visa category. On the other hand, if you are not sure which visa to pick, follow me. Yes folks, now we are going to check for your options to legally come to the United States. Please note that since we are just paralegals, consulting with one of our attorneys for the best options is always recommended. If you would like to contact one of the attorneys at Shapir Lai Law Group, Please call 510-742-5887 or send an email to info at peerallylaw.com. However, here we are going to cover some of the most common visas available to get into the United States. The most common visas used to visit the United States are the B-1 business visa or B-2 visitor or tourist visa, and ultimately the visa waiver program, which in itself is not a visa but a waiver. Make sure you are picking the right one. For example the B-1 visa is usually combined with a B-2 visa. However if you get only B-1 visa, you have to stick to business and B-2 you have to stick to tourism. Note that the visa waiver program is not really a visa and can cause issues if you are planning to change status. This is discussed in detail in our instruction videos or if you consult with one of our attorneys. Almost 1.2 million of foreign students study in the United States. That also means that it is a common method of coming to the United States. The most common student visas out there are, number 1. F1 visas for academic students. Number 2. M visas for vocational students. Number 3. J1 student exchange visa and also a working visa. We will guide you in our coming instructional Emula help videos on each of them. Working in the United States is the most sought after option and there are many ways to do that. You should be aware that working without a work visa or work authorization is illegal and you should be careful to pick the right choice for your needs. Again, a consultation with our attorneys will be of benefit to you especially in the area of attaining a work visa H1. B visas, for special fee occupations. L1. Visas, for intra-transferry employees. O visas, for people of extraordinary abilities pound sign P visas, for athletes and performers. R visas, for religious workers. H1. B visas, for specialty occupations. L1. Visas, for intra-transferry employees. O visas, for people of extraordinary abilities pound sign P visas, for athletes and performers. R visas, for religious workers. Each of the work visas mentioned are distinct. There are many other visas, but we are covering only the main ones in this video. One thing they have in common is that you need an employer to file such visas. 
do you know you can get a national interest waiver or an AB1 A visas which are permanent residence work authorizations and do not require an employment? However, these are quite difficult to obtain and it is recommended to use a lawyer to file them. However most employment-based work authorizations will require an employer including the filing of a labor certification. But that is another topic. Again the lawyers at the Shapir Lai Law Group can actually pick whether you qualify for any of such visas if you hire them to handle the case. Our product will actually not include such visas at this time because of the complication of preparing such cases. Many are also interested to invest in the United States and the most common visas for those are E1, E2 and EB5 visas. E1 and E2 visas are treaty visas and is not available for every country in the world. As for EB5 is available for all countries of the world and is a green card visa but requires a substantial investment of $500,000 or $1 million. Recently Congress has proposed to raise this amount. But until then, we are still with the $500,000 or $1 million margin. As you can see there are many ways to legally come to the United States. But it is important to pick the right way. Timula Help is designed to help you actually prepare some of these applications, if you have already picked up your visas. By signing up with Emula Help, you will get a video guidance, a checklist and also guidance how to prepare your case. If you are not able to proceed, please call the Shopee Early Law Group at 510-742-5887 or email us at info at peerallylaw.com to sign up with a law firm to handle your case. Remember Emula Help is purely a paralegal guide and is not offering legal advice. Emula Help prides itself on the fact that it is the knowledge of good lawyers embodied in the product. As such it might be a good idea to hire a lawyer to help in case if you think it is too complicated. Also remember that the right help can actually help you but the wrong help will hurt you. Now choose your product accordingly. We thank you for choosing Imula Help to help you in your immigration paralegal process.